Yo, what's cracking, everybody? You're on air with Noah's hottest movie reviews. We are having another video in five, four, three, two, and one. Poof. Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be doing the Joker movie review. Um, I'm gonna be going to see the Joker tonight in IMAX. You guys know about that. And I'm definitely, like, like, so excited. And this is going to be the second upload, second episode of Season 4 for Noah's Hottest Movie Reviews. So we have a very special guest joining us tonight. I'm not going to reveal who it is right away. But it's somebody who hasn't, like, ever been in any of my videos before. And I won't reveal them until later. So I'm just at my house right now. It is currently 25 to 4. So, I'm just going to be chilling this afternoon, probably going to grab a quick shower, and then I'll be back when I go to the movie. See you then. Peace. Alright, hey guys, so I'm heading into the theater right now. Sorry I couldn't film before. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys after the movie. We're just getting started, and I'll see you guys after the movie. Peace. After, for some reason, I couldn't understand why the Joker was mentally insane. All right, so we just finished seeing the Joker, and remember how I said earlier I had a couple special guests tonight, guys? So, one of them isn't here right now. She was the one who picked me up earlier. Um, her name's Veronica, and she's okay. She told me she I, I could put her name on YouTube, whatever. But I am here with one, and I'm here with a friend that I met at college last week Chantel hi guys so do you want to give my review for tonight for the movie I oh. thought the movie was very good it was a little dramatic and not as action-packed as I thought it was going to be but I really liked the storyline and it kind of tied the Joker's whole entire story together it's true it did it just it talks about basically the Joker like it talked about him when he started like in Gotham City like I'll give you guys a little hint Bruce Wayne is in it but I'm not gonna tell you guys like what happened just so I don't spoil it in case you guys ever want to go see it but if I had to rate that movie 1 out of 10 I would give it a solid 10.5 like he really like they really get into everything like you can literally see everything about the Joker what would you rate it? I would give it a 9.5 only because I thought there could have been a little bit more action, but I really liked how they made the Joker very crazy and realistic because you can kind of understand why he would go down the road that he went down. Yeah, basically the Joker is mentally insane. And very. it's that laughing disorder he had, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Creep me out so much. All right, so that's gonna wrap up for tonight. I'll see you guys next weekend as we will be reviewing Gemini Man. And I will see you guys next week. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye.